Okay, everybody, welcome back. So we're uploading the last video, and it's not even done uploading, and I'm already excited to move on. I'm not going to do coordinate systems. That's going to be another um, video. This video is actually going to be um, what I thought about doing, since I can do separate transformations and rotations um, with the actual um, sprites, as you, if you will. I'm just going to take out the rotation, okay, <clears throat> and let's put them in, and so they're separate, right, and then we have the thing, okay, and we have that, and we can do that, okay. What I kind of want to do is control separately where they move around the screen, and I can do that down here, and what I can also do is set the value of the transform here. Okay, here's the trend. That's the scale. Um, you know what? I don't even want the scale. <laughs> oh, look, no wonder. And I didn't even notice. I wasn't scaling the other one smaller. Okay whatever. Anyway, so we're going to take out the scale as well, but let's leave it in there for my reference. And what I want to do is actually just move them around the screen. So let's go back a few pages here. See, here's the translate function, and it works like that, and then there's the translation XYZ. So let's try that. Let's put that in. Oops. <laughs> Translate. Trans. And then we just want to put in a vector three. So the whole screen's one, let's just translate it by negative 0.25 in the x direction, zero for y, zero for z. Okay, so we're just gonna move the one slightly that way, okay? And then the other one, we're going to translate it the other way. <clears throat> okay, great. So, and if we wanted to, of course, we can go with the Y. and they're moving around. Okay, so those are the only variables that we need to adjust. <clears throat> so let's go like this. And the variables that we're adjusting are actually just in the... Um, Yeah. So let's go with um, Sprite X. And for now, I'm just going to be very redundant and I'm not going to mess with arrays and stuff just yet. Okay. So those are good. We're going to use those. So right here we're going to go Oops. Okay, we're fine. OK. 
Okay, down here we're just going to go. Okay, we've already used the up and down keys. Um, I like the way this works. Um, so I'm thinking I could either declare separate, like good old WSAD, and then the other side, IJKL. That might be fine. That might be a little too much code, I don't know. Um, we could also do a toggle and use a, have them both use WASD. Um, I don't know, I don't care. Let's Let's just do the first one. I like this key designation. Not sure. So what are we going to use? The first one, W. Go down to W here. W. Excuse me, and boy, look at all these things you can. Excuse me. <laughs> all right, let's just go with the press. Okay. So W. And because I just don't want to do more typing. W S A D. Okay, so W is the Y, and it's going to be sprite Y one. Um, it's going to be up, and up, I believe, is negative, so if sprite y1 less than or equal to I'm going to copy that. Okay, good old S is the exact opposite. So we're just going to add, change this to greater than or equal to positive, positive. We're going with, oh, that's still the same one. Okay, great. So A and D is going to be your X. So we're going to switch to X. Okay, A is moving to the left, which I believe is negative. So that's already on the right. It's great. Oops. Okay, this one's to the right, so let's just make sure we get everything right here. I think we might be good. This might be good. At least for the one. So theoretically, we'll be moving around the screen. Um, did I already update the X2 and Y2? Okay. So then it'll be zero, zero, middle of the screen. So the one's going to move around, the other one's going to sit in the middle of the screen. No? Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> and maybe the reason for that is what? Because I updated X1 and Y1. They both start at zero. What am I missing? Well, first of all, they're both still in the same location that they were initialize so they're not even translating
maybe translation doesn't work like that. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. So position, position. What am I missing? I just had those variables set there. I wonder what time are we at? Ten minutes. Ten minutes and I'm already confused, folks. <laughs> X2 and Y2. Y1. So these still work, the up and down still works. But Why not? Why doesn't the translation work? It's like the translation has no effect whatsoever. Oh, I see, because that one's... Okay, so what I was actually doing was translating trans again to zero each time. Because it was actually working on this one, but then when it finally got down to here, it reset the translation, so I was screwed. And we'll try it again. No, that wasn't it? Okay. Find the, tr the mystery. I wonder as I wonder. It's acting like the transform is not having any effect whatsoever. At least before when I put an actual value in there, it was working. Like if I change this, like let's go like this. If I change this to actually be something, it'll translate it. See, so the sprite X one, sprite Y one, why is it not? Didn't I cop so key equals down? Key, W, and action. So is it just not getting into here? Let's see. So W and S is up and down, right? Let's put this also in the up. <laughs> and put the S. So our arrow key is going to be doing double duty here. Because I know that the code actually goes there, but... Oh, so that works. So it's not it's the W. So what's wrong with the W? Because the up works. Why is it not working here? Oh, eighty seven. What? What the heck? Is it busted? Is it just doesn't work? Weird. So the up and down works, but not the W key. <laughs> nice! We've got a broken constant. Or a broken whatever. 
down and up. Um, okay, so let's go back with our original idea then that I didn't want to do. And let's do the toggle. Oh, wrong one's commented out. Okay, so mix value spray, all that, so that's up and down. Well, so much for you guys. See you later. Later. There will be more, but okay, so if he equals Oh shoot! What the heck? Did I just find my mistake? Oh my god, if you're watching the video you're probably yelling at me. Oh my god, are you serious? Aren't you serious? Did you do that? Did you actually do that? Oh my god, that's my problem. Why did I do that? Okay, well at least I found the problem before I actually rewrote all the code. Did the toggle that I didn't want to do. <laughs> Oh wait, no, just delete it. There. Okay, you know what? It might actually um, work. <laughs> now. There, so now we're controlling that one with the WASD up and down still works. Does it go, see, and it goes to like a maximum. comes right back. That's so cool. Okay. You know, I kind of don't like the... Uh... Oh wait, what's it doing now? Oh, are those reversed? W is minus. <laughs> Should we swap this code? Did I have it all messed up? I had it reversed. Anyways, okay, so now let's just go ahead and keep the W. Just remember when you're doing this to use double equals for your comparisons instead of a single assignment equals. Okay, yep, I have a dumbbell. All right, copy. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, so now we want W, I, we want I, K, J, and L. And then all these, I want to swap to 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. two. Oh, and I didn't apply it to the other one, that's why. So Sprite X1 and <laughs> that is so cool, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're going to end the video. 19 minutes, we figured that one out. Thank you for staying tuned through all my insanity, and I hope we all learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> that's, that's awesome.